Now let's test Houdini software and how this perform inside our HP ZBook. So I have this empty Houdini scene and just for testing, I will just create some simple pyro preset. So in pyro effects, let's just create an explosion here. And here CPU side, we just see little spike, but our scene is now loaded here. Let's uh, play. Okay, so CPU is reached to 100%. And this is where you can see that all the threads, all the cores are utilizing using the simulations. And it's 100% meanwhile I already have another Houdini open so let's just go there and let's create one more uh, spear in this spear and let's go create another fireball here so one explosion one fireball this is still going on okay and this one this is another one so we will go so we have done this here let's just play this all right so right now two simulations going on parallelly and uh, cpu is now fully utilized but now system is still can use we have third houdini here let's create one more simulation here go back to pyro effects this time let's create another explosion So let's go to our previous one. This is still simulation is going on. This one already done. Play. So as you can see the three simulation parallelly working on CPU is now fully, fully utilized. And RAM you can see that is still 26% used because we have 64 GB RAM. So it's fine. GPU is not that much used. And this all actually happening in this laptop. Okay, so now our simulation going on. Let's just see everything side by side. Here you can see it's already this part. This part already. Let's just stop and because this is just the firewall. So we can just limit the frames to maybe 60. Then it will be fine back play okay right we have this uh, let's just stop this one also let's limit the frame to 60 <clears throat> play and entire system is actually responsive and this one also uh, maybe 60 perfect so there is three three simulations live going on on one single laptop right so this is the power of zbook not even this the the processor which we are having here and as you can see now we are actually utilizing our graphic card because everything is playing live and this is three Houdini side by side actually still our system is responsive we can actually run one more Houdini here and once the Houdini is started when you can see here itself it's uh, now we can see little bit mo movement inside our GPU and let's see what task is doing here and this is doing more or the 3d uh, i mean 3d encoding so here we can see that the 3d task is now going on we have three houdini open here let's just open another one create one more spear and go to pyro and this time we will create one different thing maybe smoke Okay, so our smoke is ready. Let's 
minimize this not minimize resize this and change the frame to this one also 60 okay perfect so this one is our fourth houdini let's play so far simulation is going on no problem I mean we can go and check with this render frames also everything but now the thing is first stage we need to see how responsive is our system how much how much we can actually parallel work we can do simultaneously without affecting and my system is not uh, freezed or whatever so I can still go and open another software and do my other task okay let's just go and reach open one more houdini and see so as of now let's see the memory how much we reach we reach memory around 23.5 gb and cpu yes is obviously is high so and ethernet we are not using only gpu gpu and cpu is the one which is actually in the use right now all right so this is our fifth houdini at this moment and now let's just go create one more spear here and uh, pyro and uh, let's just create one more explosion we can make one single scene complicated to test that but again my my intention here is to test how many parallel application we can run so maybe there are some different different things that we can test there are many different cases also that we will test like if we start maya together with that so here now you can see we have total one two three how many we have total five we have total five houdini open and all are playing the real simulation they are doing the real simulation and so far our system is not freezed at all right so now guys i hope you get the idea of how powerful this hp zbook is and how much useful it will be in the how much useful it is for visual effects and uh, 3d vfx artist or technical directors or tds very very useful very powerful now let's just move forward and see our other review and let's pick maya for our next test